Today we will go ahead with the problems of heights and distance. The angles are given 60 degrees and 45 degrees. The first plane which is at a 2000 meter side. You can take 2000 common. If I take 2000 common, I will be having root 3 minus 1. The angle of elevation of top of a tower from two points at a distance of A and B from its foot. Welcome to the session dear students. Today we will go ahead with the problems of heights and distance. When an aeroplane when flying at a height of 2000 meter passes vertically above another plane at an instant when their angles of elevations from the same point of observation are 60 degrees and 45 degrees respectively find the distance between the planes. So dear students representing this in the form of a triangle is important. So they told a plane is flying at a height of uh, 2000 meters from the ground level. So this is the plane. So P1 at the ground level. So now from a point, if you measure, see when it is crossing over another plane, so another plane is P2. Let us assume distance between them is D. And uh, the first plane is at a height of what 2000 meters. So here to here it will be 2000 minus D. Now they told the angle of elevation from same point say this is the point of observation here. So when you measure the angles are given 60 degrees and 45 degrees. The first plane which is at a 2000 meter site is at 60 degrees and the other plane is 45 degrees. So now this is the basic diagram. From this we need to find the distance between the planes. So let us assume let D be the distance between the planes, D be the distance between the planes. Now going ahead, so when you talk about this diagram, there are two planes they told. So we took both the planes, this is plane 1 and this is passing over another plane P2 and distance between them here to here you are assuming D. So here to here it will be 2000 minus D but total here to here from ground level this is 2000 meters. And then this is point A and this is 45 degrees and the other one is what total 60 degrees. So now from two triangles our task is to find the distance between them. One of the triangle will take and see first I will take the low triangle AGP from triangle APG and the triangle AP2G. AP2G gives you tan 45 degrees is equal to opposite side. Opposite side to this is this 2000 minus D that is uh, we say P2G, P2 to G divided by adjacent that is AG. P2 to G is 2000 minus D divided by AH A to G. The P2 sorry P2 to G is this divided by AG. AG is unknown. Say X tan 45 is 1. Rearrange you will get X is equal to what 2000 minus D meters. So now you got X unknown. Call it as equation 1. Now go to the second triangle and from triangle A P1G A P1G apply tan 60 degrees tan 60 is what opposite side divided by adjacent that is P1G divided by base that is AG tan 60 you know root 3 and P1 to G P1 to G is what 2000 meters and A to G is what X you know the value of x, x is what 2000 minus d, we need d actually, rearrange it. So in the place of x you can substitute the value of x, so root 3x is equal to 2000 meters or in the place of x substitute the x, what is x? 2000 minus d, so root 3 into 2000 minus d is equal to 2000, rearrange this, so it will become 2000 into root 3 minus root 3d is equal to what 2000. So transfer this to RHS and bring it so 2000 into root 3 minus 2000 
is equal to root 3 into d. You can take 2000 common. If I take 2000 common, I will be having root 3 minus 1 is equal to root 3 into d. So now what is d? d is what? 2000 into root 3 minus 1 divided by root 3. So now you got the distance. So therefore, distance between the planes. So distance between the planes. is equal to d and the d value you got what is the d value 2000 into root 3 minus 1 by root 3 this is the value which we got so now we understood what is the distance so now apart from that now we'll go to the next uh, problem so here understanding the first problem 11th problem is what one plane so this plane is passing over another plane at that instant when it is passing the angle of elevations is 60 45 and db the distance between the planes and total height is 2000 and this will become what 2000 minus d i hope all of you understood this next from a point on the line joining of two poles of equal heights the angles of elevation of the top of the poles is observed to be 30 degrees and 60 degrees if the distance between the poles is fine if the distance between the poles is a so the total distance between the poles is a this is a so find the height of the pole and position of the point of observation so they told there are two poles of same height so let h be the height of both the poles and say this is a b is one pole and c d is another pole p is a point from where two angle of elevations they give one is at 60 degrees elevation one is at uh, 30 degrees elevation and they also told distance between them is a this length is a they told so this is given from this given you have to arrive so now i'll take uh, tan 60 from triangle abp abp tan 60 what is tan 60 opposite by adjacent that is h by bp h by bp so tan 60 you know root 3 is h by bp or you will get h is equal to what root 3 times bp so bp so this bp can be written as bd minus pd okay let it be bp value we got so from this you can also get bp b to p is i can write h by root 3 this is bp and another triangle we have cdp from triangle CDP apply tan tan 30 what is tan 30 tan 30 is equal to opposite side opposite to this is CD divided by adjacent that is PD so tan 30 you know that is 1 by root 3 is CD that is height of the tower by PD P to D is BD minus uh, A minus BP I can write See here I need PD. PD can be written as P to D can be written as BD minus BP. BD minus BP I can write because I know the length of BD. You can see B. See we wanted actually PD. PD can be written as B to D minus in the whole length remove BP because whole length you know that is A minus uh, sorry A minus BP. BP also you know what is BP you got BP sorry BP you got H by root 3 h by root 3 so we'll substitute it now that is h minus 1 by root 3 equal to bd what is bd a in the diagram b to d is a that's what they give distance between the poles and bp b to p is we got b to p is what h by root 3 minus h by root 3 so now simplify you'll get h so 1 by root 3 is equal to if you take lcm root 3 h it will be divided by root 3 a minus h you will have rearrange if i rearrange okay root 3 into root 3 h is equal to root 3 a minus h so root 3 into root 3 becomes 3 h is equal to root 3 a minus h bring h to the set so 4h is equal to root 3a and h will become exactly root 3 by 4 times a this is h h is what height of the tower what is height of the tower 
height of the tower in terms of a is root 3 by 4 times a just we rearranged and so from two triangles we got height and they also want the position of point of observation means they want a so just rearrange so h is equal to root 3 by 4 is a so bp P, bp is what we have h by root 3 and bp p is the position and h is what h root 3 h root 3 by 4 is a we got from this you can get h from this please get the value of h from this we will get the value of h so a is equal to h root 3 by 4 h is equal to 4a by root 3 so 4a by root 3 into root 3 so that will become 4a by 3 this is bp means position from one of the pole which is making 60 degrees that is 4 times a or you can find the other one pd anything fine okay let me start with the 13th problem the angle of elevation of top of a tower from two points at a distance of a and b from its foot or same on same straight line is 30 degrees and 45 degrees show that the height of the tower is root ab so now so now let me draw the diagram for that so there is a tower from the foot of the tower there are two points one point makes an angle of elevation 30 degrees this is at capital a the other point uh, makes an angle 60 degrees and this is the tower this is the foot of the tower this is the diagram and apart from this now you have uh, two triangles if you observe dear students here they told this distance is a they have given in the problem and this distance is b and h be the h and we need to prove the height is root a b so we'll take one of the triangle from triangle a t f so i'll take tan 30 tan 30 degrees is equal to uh, height of the tower that is uh, opposite side t f divided by adjacent a f tan 30 value you know 1 by root 3 and t to f is height of the tower and a to f is a so now we got uh, height of the tower is a by root 3 and the other triangle will take from triangle i'll take uh, btf tan 60 degrees is equal to opposite that is tf divided by adjacent b to f tan 60 is root 3 and this is height and b to f is b so h is equal to what b h is equal to root 3 b so dear students you can see h is equal to a by root 3 and h is equal to root 3 b you can write see here you can also write a and b okay here now if i multiply these two h square will become a by root 3 into root 3 b do you agree i'm multiplying so call this as 2 multiply 1 and 2 multiply 1 and 2 why we need to do this because they wanted to prove height in terms of a b one is in terms of a one is in terms of b so i multiply so we cannot eliminate h we need h so multiply lhs into lhs h into h is h square a by root 3 into root 3 b root 3 root 3 cancel so you'll get h square is equal to a b and h is equal to root a b plus or minus i should take positive because height is always positive so now we got the height of the tower hence the proof therefore height of the tower is what root a into b drawing this diagram is important they see if you go away the distance will be more and angle of elevation will be less when you away when you move away from the tower angle of angle of elevation decreases when you go near the tower angle of elevation increases so this is the basic if you can draw the diagram it's easy take tan theta where the tan 60 you'll get one equation tan 30 you'll get another equation multiply one and two you'll get h square from that arrive at what h I hope all of you understood this. Please sit and practice these problems. I'll see you in my next session. Thanks for attending. Thank you.